Gig Traffic, Cherokee 6543 Whiskey is back taxiing 22 Goose Creek. Well, hey guys, as I wait for the aircraft in front of me, I appreciate you uh, tuning in and watching this week's video. This is going to be a, a little bit of a different video than I usually do. I usually fly out somewhere. This week I'm just going to be staying in a pattern. It's a little bit of a windy and gusty day today, so I'm going to be doing some pattern work and uh, short field landing practice uh, here at my home field of 28 Alpha. 28 Alpha has a 2,300 foot paved field. It's 40 foot wide with some trees and obstacles around. So um, with the winds and gusts, I, I think it's going to be a fun little adventure. All right, now let's go ahead and go through our checklist while we wait for the aircraft in front of me. Uh, parking brake is set. Controls free and correct. Flaps set to uh, one. We're light on fuel, and it's just me in here, and it's pretty. Uh, it's a nice, cool uh, fall day. Trim is neutral. Mixture is in. Car heat is off. Transponder on altitude. Flight instruments all in the green. Uh, fuel tank is on the right tank. I, I switched that before I turned on the aircraft. Fuel pump is on where it will remain for most of the flight today. Engine instruments are all in the green except for oil temperature, which is still warming up. Seat belts fastened. Door is latched. List. All right, so this is a run up for a Piper Cherokee 140, a parking brake. Set, and when I do my parking brake, I also like to have my feet on the brake pedals, just as redund for redundancy. It will throttle up to 1800 RPM, which is where it should be on a Piper Cherokee. And then we'll go ahead and check the right mag. Nice drop, about, about 120. Uh, between 100 and 120, and the aircraft is running smooth, so no problems with the right mag. Then we'll go back up to 1800, there it is, and then we'll go to the left mag. Left mag, we got about a one, about a 100 to about 110 drop, at least from my angle, and the aircraft running smooth. So right mag check, left mag check, car peat. Let's go ahead and check the car peat. We have about a 60 to 70 drop, maybe 50. It's going back and forth, but that's good. And there's no car peat, no carb ice in the carburetor. Uh, car peat off. Suction is at uh, a little uh, under five, but that's good. All engine instruments are in the green. Oil is just starting to uh, warm up, and then we'll take it back down to a thousand. And now what I like to do is I like to do an aisle check. So I'm going to go ahead and aisle this out to make sure it doesn't stall on me, especially if I'm doing pattern work here at a short field with obstacles. I want to make sure that if I need power at the last minute that I'll, that I'll have it. All right, we're, we're looking good. I think we're ready for takeoff. Let's go ahead and Take a look down the runway. There is nobody on the runway and nobody coming in from that angle. There's nobody coming in from this angle, so we're all clear. For whatever reason, when I'm at this side of the runway, the radio does not want to work too well. But it works in the air. That's what's important, I suppose. All right, quick cross check. Flaps and trim is neutral. Carb, carb heat and mixture. Let's go ahead and power up. Slowly ease into that throttle. RPM is good. And oil pressure is good. Speed is alive at 55. We've got a little bit of a quartering, a quartering uh, crosswind. So I'm going to go ahead and do an aileron adjustment. In 75 miles an hour, rotate. And we'll climb out at 75 miles an hour until we clear the obstacles. And then I'll go ahead and put my flaps from 1 to 0, and the aircraft should increase to 85 miles an hour. And here we are, flaps 1 to 0, and we'll wait till we are 500 feet above the ground, and I'll go ahead and turn crosswind. All right, crosswind. Good Street traffic, Cherokee 6543, Whiskey is turning crosswind, 2-2, two -two, Street. Uh, as I complete my crosswind turn, I like to look downwind to make sure there aren't any incoming aircraft, as well as the 45 on downwind, and there are none. So I'll go ahead and turn downwind right now. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 6543 Whiskey is turning downwind, 22 two, Goose Creek. And we're about 50 feet from pattern altitude, so I'll go ahead and throttle down to arrest the climb of the aircraft. I usually find that if I throttle down, 
about 50 feet from where I want it to be, then then she'll uh, she'll settle in where I want it to be. So this is, a, as I mentioned before, a 2,300 foot field. So it's fairly short, and what I like to do is is set up my uh, or begin my landing configuration when I'm halfway down the downwind leg, which is right now. So I'll go ahead and throttle down to 1,700 and pop one notch of flaps and trim up three times uh, to begin establishing my approach speed. And what I'll do is I'll wait till my touchdown point, which in, th in this particular instance is about 150 feet past the threshold. When my touchdown point is 45 degrees out the back window, that's when I like to turn base. And we're slowing down very nicely. It's at 85 miles an hour, and I'll establish my final approach speed on, uh, on base. And now we're 45 degrees out the back window. I'll go ahead and turn base. Whiskey traffic, Cherokee 6543, Whiskey is turning base. 2 2, this Creek. Now we have a, a headwind that's coming almost down the runway, maybe at about a 1 o'clock slight quartering. So um, I'm expecting to carry a little bit of power on the final, uh, once I turn final. And I also expect it to push me a little bit further down here on my base leg as well. There's nobody on final. We'll go ahead and pop our two flaps, trim up twice. There's nobody on final, nobody on the runway. I'm cleared to turn. Street traffic, Cherokee 6543, Whiskey is turning final, 2-2, two -two, Goose Creek. And we are high, but I am not worried about it because of that headwind. So I'm going to go ahead and, and fly with the wind and use the wind to my advantage. We got full flaps now, and then trim up. Our speed is good at about 80 miles an hour. I'm um, a little bit left of the runway, so let's go ahead and use rudder to keep down the runway. I'm going to need to give it some power. We're coming in a little shallow now. That headwind is uh, increasing my sink rate, so I'll just carry some power at 80 miles an hour. All right, we're good at about 75, 80 miles an hour. We're over the trees. There's a threshold. Let's go ahead and power down and sink on in. All right. Roll out and hold it off. All right. That was a pretty smooth landing. And right out of the corner of my right eye, I saw that the wind immediately shifted to cross. So I had a little bit of a, of a crosswind there right before I touched down. But uh, it was right before I touched down, so it wasn't that bad. And I handled it pretty well. All right, total up to 1,000. We'll put our parking brake on and go through our quick uh, reset checklist. We got flaps one, trim, neutral, mixture, in, car heat, off, transponder, altitude, flight instruments, all still looking good. Fuel tank is on right tank, and uh, they're about even now. Right tank had more when I started, but they're about even. We only have one more rounded the pattern, so that'll be good to go. Uh, electric fuel pump on. Check, and engine instruments are all in the green. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Whiskey traffic, Jerry, 6543, Whiskey is taking off 2-2. We'll be in your pattern, good green. I don't know what it is about this end of the runway, but uh, that radio just doesn't want to work. All right, quick cross check, flaps, trim neutral, mixture in, carb heat off. Let's go ahead and power up. Slowly ease into the throttle. Takeoff RPM is good. And oil pressure is good. Speed is alive at 50. 60, 65, 70, 75, rotate. That was a quick takeoff roll. And we'll climb out at 75 miles an hour till we clear the trees. And then I'll go flaps one to zero. And we've cleared the trees. Flaps one to zero, and then I'll keep the nose pitch where it is, and the aircraft should increase its speed to 85 miles an hour, which it just did. And we're good at best rate of climb. And when we are 500 feet above the ground, I'll go ahead and turn. When we're 500 feet above the ground, I'll go ahead and turn crosswind. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 6543, Whiskey is turning crosswind, 2-2, Goose Creek. All right, and when I finish my crosswind turn, I like to look downwind just to make sure nobody's coming in, and I also look 
like to look on the 45 to downwind. And we're all clear today, and we're a good distance from the uh, field, so I'll go ahead and turn downwind. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 6543, whiskey is turning downwind, 22, Goose Creek. And we are at pattern altitude, we'll go ahead and throttle down. I'm a little wide on my downwind and just slightly high, so I'm going to throttle down a little bit early, not quite at the halfway point of the downwind leg. This is a 2,300 foot field. Uh, it's paved uh, and there are obstacles, so what I like to do is begin my power down about halfway down the downwind leg. Um, I find that that sort of sets me up for the best approach. I have one notch of flaps and trim up three times to begin uh, setting up my approach speed. As I mentioned, I am a little wide, so I'm going to turn base just a tad bit early. Um, I usually like to wait till I'm 45 degrees out the back window to turn base, but for this particular uh, round in the pattern, I'm going to turn a little bit early. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 6543, Whiskey turning base, 22 two, Goose Creek. Speed is good at about 85 miles an hour. I'll uh, pull back on the yoke a little bit and trim up to relieve pressure to get my final approach speed. With this type of gusty winds, I, I like to bring it in around 80 miles an hour. All right, flaps two, and trim up twice. We are at 80. I can feel the, uh, the, the, the headwind that's down the runway pushing me to the right and extending my, my, uh, my leg here a little bit. No one's on final, no one's down the runway, let's turn final. Whiskey traffic, Cherokee 6543, Whiskey is turning final, 2-2, two, 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 three. All right, I took that turn a little wide, but that's okay. It's just correct. I don't like to kick the rudder at this low altitude and low speed, so I'll just correct with the aircraft and fly it in. And now we're down to center line. There's a headwind. I am high. Pop our last notch of flaps and trim up. I am high, but I'm not too worried about it because we have that strong headwind. So I'm just going to actually, I'm going to have to give it a little bit of power here. And I'm going to have to crab this in a little bit. Uh, make a, a crosswind correction with ailerons uh, slightly to the right and slightly left rudder. The wind is shifting from a headwind to a slight quartering crosswind from the right. And so far we're looking good. Right down to center line with my uh, crosswind correction. Speed is good as about about 75 to 80 miles an hour. And then we'll go ahead and throttle off and roll out and hold it off. Wow, that was really good. Pat myself on the back for that one. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video of short field takeoffs and short field landings. Uh, it's been a while since I've done pattern work, uh, and I purposely picked a, a somewhat of a, of a windy and gusty day to do it, just to have some fun. And I had a blast making this video. I hope you guys had fun watching it. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more weekly flying videos. Bye-bye, everyone. Whiskey Traffic, Cherokee 6543, Whiskey has clear 2-2 at the ramp.